Well, Brookfield Zoo is very excited to be part of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Recovery Program for the critically endangered Mexican gray wolf. We had a birth of another litter here at Brookfield Zoo back on April 22nd. And even more exciting than that, we actually did a full cross fostering and two of our puppies went into the wild den in New Mexico and we brought two puppies back from New Mexico and placed them in our den site here at Wolf Woods with Zana and Flint to care for them. The Mexican gray wolf is one of the most endangered wolves in the United States and the recovery program focuses on making sure that the population that is released into the wild is genetically stable. We've been participating by having a number of packs of wolves here at Brookfield Zoo that have gone on to reproduce and provide puppies for the wild population. So we've had a number of packs here. We've exchanged animals with a number of recovery programs. We've brought animals in from Mexico and we've had an opportunity to release an adult wolf named Ernesta a few years back who went on to be a successful mother in the wild along with cross fostering last year. And what cross fostering is, it's an opportunity that biologists will often use to increase the genetic diversity of the wild packs in New Mexico and Arizona by placing wolves that are born in professional care with wild litters. We weren't sure exactly when the cross fostering effort was gonna start because part of the preparation is making sure that the wild litter is the same age as the litter born in a zoo setting. So we worked with Fish and Wildlife back in January. We gave them an estimated due date and then we waited to make sure that we had a wild litter counterpart of similar age. So that started the process and within 24 hours we knew that we had a matching litter. So we assembled an animal care team which included our veterinarian and two animal care specialists that are wolf specialists that know how to feed and care for the animals on their trip. When the puppies were brought into the veterinary hospital, they were given a neonatal exam to make sure that they were healthy and in good condition to travel. So they made their way out to New Mexico on a flight. We met up with the field team, then our team hiked to the den site and they made sure that there were enough wolves present in the litter. We wanted to even out the litter size so we wouldn't give the mother too much to take care of. And it was a very large litter. They were quite surprised. The field biologist counted eight puppies, which is the largest litter of Mexican wolf puppies on record in the wild. And then of course we had the return flight and the animal care staff at Brookfield Zoo brought the puppies back here. And after a quick exam to make sure they were in good shape after their trip, they were introduced to our litter here at Brookfield Zoo. And Zana has been seen caring for the litter. We have reports from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife field team that the cross fostering there was successful. The female was seen in and around the den site, which is a very good indication that she's continuing to take care of the litter. So in the coming weeks, as the puppies emerge, we'll be updating you on their progress.